Within the past weeks, we've seen a handful of new films that are poised to come out in the coming weeks or getting ready to come out for 2024, and I figured it'd be worthwhile to tell you what I know about it so far, so let's get into it. First, and probably the most obvious that many of you have probably seen already, is Ilford's new Harmon Photo account that they've been teasing all over the internet. They send out postcards and some media information, kind of explaining who they are, what they're doing, to a handful of certain photographers, which I sadly did not make the cut. Totally kidding there. I don't really shoot much black and white, so I'm not very surprised that uh, I didn't make the cut. That being said, I do think it is going to be color film for uh, one major reason. From a source who was at an event where Michelle Parr from Ilford came and talked, supposedly she was a bit cryptic, but alluded to part of the deal of them using the Ilford name is that they're not allowed to produce color Ilford film, and that people should follow Harmon Photo on socials for news coming soon. While this is purely speculation at this point, in my opinion, it does make total sense. If it was in addition to the Ilford lineup, why go through all this branding when they have the legacy brand in place already? That being said, Said, as of now, there is an announcement slated for December 1st, but nothing else that I know of as of now. Regardless, I am super stoked that Ilford does seem to be investing into the future of film instead of trying to sell gimmicky things like film holders or speakers. <clears throat> Polaroid. Next up is two new film stocks from Frania Films, an Italian manufacturer. Frania is having an open house on December 2nd to see their museum, production facilities, and also check out their new P33 and P36 films. Which, to my knowledge, and looking around online, these are two black and white films, which is definitely their expertise. While I understand frustration, especially where Film Frania has supposedly promised a color reversal film at some point, low ISO black and white films aren't incredibly common, so I'm happy with more film in general. Next up is a new Aerochrome, which I'll explain momentarily, but it has been a long time coming, and I'm sure Jason is super excited to stop drinking uh, Flaming Hot Mountain Dews. Do it for the Aerochrome. Finish what you started and leave a wake of destruction in your path. Okay, so we should pump the brakes here because it's not exactly Aerochrome, which was originally made by Kodak for military use, but it is an alternative that looks pretty similar, especially with the lack of alternatives on the market currently. Aerochrome was originally popularized by a couple of photographers in the early 20 teens who took it to the Congo and made some really, really beautiful, magical images there, showcasing the landscape, the military presence, their people, etc. As you can obviously see, it flips the color green into this really vibrant pink color, creating a really unique look to the film stock. Because of this and these photos, the interest, especially over the last handful of years, has risen and now to find an aerochrome roll on eBay is well over $100 at least. Not to mention how old it is, its condition, etc, etc. As per the guy's YouTube channel, which I'll link in the description, he talks about how an old NASCAR modified series is an inspiration for the film stock, which I think is actually a really cool backstory. To my knowledge, this film is actually just modified Lomochrome purple, hence the name modified film, but he's done something to the chemicals or the development where he actually modifies the colors to instead be purple, they come out more of a pink or reddish tone. As of now, you can only buy it on Etsy, and I think he's actually sold out right now, but I know that he's just put in some new orders and then you can sign up to his mailing list, so I'll link that down below. I know I'll be grabbing a couple rolls to shoot to test out to see how it really does compare to Aerochrome, so make sure to stay tuned for that. 220 Film is back and Reflex Lab Pro is leading the charge. Their new Pro 100 film is respooled Aerocolor 2460, which is a nice daylight balanced film, but any 220 film is a great thing. 220 Film doubles your number of exposures on a medium format film roll, but has been largely discontinued by all manufacturers for normal 120 rolls. Reflex Lab is sending some rolls my way for you guys to check out in video, so make sure to stay tuned for that as well. And lastly, supposedly Orwell will be coming out with a new colored film stock in 2024. While there isn't too much out there, according to Nico's photography show, NC200 is coming in 35mm and 120 color film, which is a new emulsion from Orwell that, like I said, should be coming soon. Nico talked to, I believe, the owner of Orwell, and he's going to be getting some film rolls from them, so make sure you check out his channel, as it sounds like he'll be doing some reviews and early content on that. It's pretty amazing that Orwell has the infrastructure to be able to make a new colored film stock and I'm super stoked to see how it looks. Also, before I dip out, I wanted to share two uh, sales, I guess, going on on film that you guys may have missed. Mammography slashed prices on their film and it's some of the most affordable film that you can get right now. So if you're looking for that, definitely check that out. It'll be down in the link below. As well as Kodak Gold just went on sale on, I believe, a handful of different retailers' websites. I'll make sure to link one of them down below as well. Otherwise, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. If you have any films that you know are coming out or just recently came out that you think are worthwhile make sure to comment them down below as i know that there's definitely films that i've missed from smaller brands but if there's enough films that i missed or that are coming out uh, within the next couple months i would love to make another one like this 
just to uh, keep you guys in the know to more films that are coming because that's always a good thing. So otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more stuff coming soon. All of my stuff from this uh, trip out west should be coming out basically after this video. So um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Otherwise, until next time, peace out, stay safe, stay shooting. <laughs>